Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us. You're watching KSBY News at 6 o'clock. I'm Richard Gearhart. Tonight, we have reporters covering your communities from Paso Robles to Santa Barbara. But we begin right here back in Port San Luis for part two of my series, The Diablo Dilemma. Should the Diablo Canyon power plant, just beyond those gates behind me, continue operating for years to come? As recently as 2022, PG&E was moving forward with plans to shut it down. Its current licenses set to expire for Unit 1 in 2024 and for Unit 2 in 2025. California's last operating nuclear power plant would stop producing electricity and move forward with decommissioning. An advisory panel had been assembled to determine what that might look like, as well as what would happen to the land where the plant currently sits. But then warnings came from both climate scientists and operators of the state's power grid about what shuttering the plant could do to both the state's power supply and to the environment. In 2016, PG&E announced plans to withdraw an application it had already submitted to extend the operating licenses beyond 2024 and 2025. PG&E CEO stated at the time, I am sorry to see it go because from a national energy policy standpoint, we need greenhouse gas free electricity, but we are regulated by the state of California and California's policies are driving this. California lawmakers put the emphasis on renewable energy. Nuclear power is not a source of renewable energy. It is fueled by a limited resource and does produce radioactive waste. But what it does not produce is carbon or greenhouse gases. So while it's not renewable, it is classified as green energy or energy that does not contribute to global climate change. But after two years of unrelenting wildfires in 2020 and 2021, combined with severe drought and soaring temperatures, California was forced to develop a plan to make sure it had enough energy and to respond to climate change. In essence, it came down to a choice, some characterize as the lesser of two evils, a choice between the most immediate threat, climate change, or the long-term storage of more nuclear waste. There was increasing pressure from climate scientists and the public to take another look at Diablo Canyon. Governor Gavin Newsom was convinced. And this is critical in the context of making sure we have energy reliability going forward. Again, part of our energy plan and, yes, part of our climate plan because that energy uh, does not produce greenhouse gases. That energy provides baseload and reliability and affordability that will complement and allow us to stack all of the green energy that we're bringing online at record rates. PG&E got the call to once again reverse course. The projections were showing that there's going to be, you know, 10 times the need for um, uh, more, uh, more generating facility, more capacity. And how could we take, you know, 23, about 2,300 megawatts off the grid during that time? But members of Mothers for Peace disagree. But as I've said before, that's a false trade-off. You don't have to say it's either carbon dioxide or radioactive waste. We have all these great renewables and the increase in battery capacity. So the choice is contaminate your planet or keep it livable for future generations by not doing either fossil fuels or nuclear. But even if the state continued with the push for only renewable energy, it still needs to meet the electricity demands of its residents. When California does not have enough energy, it is purchased from neighboring states. Neighboring states that generate power using mostly fossil fuels. That left many asking, why shut down an operating plant with an impeccable safety record that does not contribute to climate change while transitioning to more renewable energy? A 2021 report from researchers at MIT and Stanford states that keeping Diablo Canyon running until 2035 would reduce the state's carbon emissions from electricity generation by 11 percent every year, save the state a cumulative $2.6 billion and improve the reliability of the grid. You know, the other thing I would say is keeping Diablo running, it's very cost effective from a standpoint of the other load serving entities or investor owned utilities not um, having to, um, you know, pay for the resource adequacy that Diablo is providing, right? And that's, in the, you know, a, a fairly large figure as well. So there's a lot of society, societal benefits, environmental benefits, and cost benefits to continuing to run such a safe, high-performing plant. 
for now, the state has asked PGE to keep the generators here at Diablo running as kind of a stopgap measure until additional power generating capacity and battery storage can be brought online. But it's still far from a done deal. Many regulatory agencies have a say on whether or not this plant continues to operate. And not everyone agrees that continuing to operate the plant is the best path forward. In part three of our series, The Diablo Dilemma, we will take a look at some of those hurdles and get a better idea of where we are in the process. That is next Tuesday at 6 p.m.